I'm Atuba George and I'm so excited to be bringing you God's truth today. Praise <laughs> God. Now, are you ready to call forth your daily bread? Join me right now as we declare. Say, Father, I receive right now my daily bread. It's coming to me right now. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise God. Oh, we bless you, precious Holy Spirit. You are good. And you were sent to guide us into all truth. So we know one thing today. We will not walk in a lie. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And, and Jesus said, you will teach us all things. So we open our heart to be taught by you right now. In fulfillment of your word, that great shall be our peace, for we shall be taught of the Lord. Thank you, precious Holy Spirit. We open our hearts to receive, and I declare right now, every burden is lifted. Every yoke is destroyed. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise God. Now, this is getting interesting, and I, I pray that you really open your hearts to receive and understand this. We're still talking about walking in spiritual, financial intelligence. I'm bringing your mind into how God walks, you know, how he thinks, how he walks, praise God. And, and I thank God for the grace to see into these things. Now, yeah, like, how do you know all these things? Fellowship fellowship you know i've told you this severally the spirit of god teaches he teaches and he teaches all things and if you pay attention to him he will teach you anything you want to know so so it's left for you just like when people say i don't hear the voice of god you don't hear because you don't you're not listening for his voice it's as simple as that no, God is not speaking to me. No, that's not true. God is always speaking. I mean, he, God talks for a living. Praise <laughs> God. You know, I mean, he said that. He talks for, actually, and I want you to get this. Actually, without his voice, there is no evidence of him being around. It is because of him speaking that we know. Now, it isn't, isn't this amazing? People go consult um, a herbalist or a, a, a spiritualist. Now, you know what I mean by it? Like, we call it here a native doctor. And the native doctor tells them to do stuff. And then they do it. And they expect a response. They expect the native doctor to say, Oh, the gods have said uh, you will get this. And then, Oh, ah. Meaning you believe that the devil, who are called the gods, can speak. If you believe the devil can speak, and isn't it amazing? Somebody, a child of God will come and tell you, Pastor, please pray for me. Say, what is it? And someone summoned me to a shrine. And then they said that the gods are, say that they are going to kill me. And you are running and looking for help. A child of God. Say, you, why don't you go and consult your own shrine? You know, we have our own shrine in Him. Praise God. You go before the Lord and say, Lord, who is He that has declared it in and it comes to pass <laughs> when you have not declared it? How can somebody tell you that some, some, something somewhere said? It's be, you are afraid 
because you have not started hearing from God. It's as simple as that. And, 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 and to us, you don't need anybody to consult God for you. You don't. You don't. That's for babies. And, and the truth is, God wants you to grow up from that place that he wants to have fellowship with you. That's what he wants. Jesus said, in that day, you shall ask in my name. And I'm not going to say I will pray the Father for you because the Father himself loves you. Praise God. You know what that means? The Father himself wants to hear your voice. So, so, so stop this whole, um, I'm, I'm looking for a prophet that uh, everyone is playing their role. Don't, don't get me wrong. But I'm talking to you as a child of God. Grow up. Grow up. Make your pastor's job easier. You know what I'm saying? Imagine if everybody in church have to line up to see the pastor one after the other for the pastor to tell them, okay, um, go. You, know, you know, people are so amazing. You know, someone will call you and say, um, pastor, good morning. I, I don't know. I'm trying to decide this morning whether to eat a bar or whether to eat rice. So I say, let me call you. Maybe you know what the spirit of God is saying. Yeah, people do that. I'm telling you the truth. People do that. And you're wondering like, Sorry? Yeah, because, you know, we have to be led by the Spirit of God. So, I just want to be sure you are the one eating the food that you want. Now, imagine if everybody you know is asking you that kind of question. So, you see, but you can ask the Holy Spirit. Ah, you say, can I ask the Holy Spirit? Of course, you can ask the Holy Spirit. Like, Lord, what do you think? Should I eat a bar or should I eat rice this month? You can I'm telling you, feel so free with him. Praise God. Yeah. Now, of course, you know, when you he begins to relate with you where what to eat is concerned, then you know that you're really close to him. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So, he wants you to relate with him concerning everything. Everything. Now, I was telling, sharing something with you yesterday, how, how God's system of supply works. And I told you, when you pray for something, the day God answers that thing is actually an angel that he released. That angel comes to be with you when that thing, where that thing is concerned. Now, I see this work in, in my life in many ways. I was sharing with you the other day how the Lord told me that you are, um, you are keeping an angel redundant. Why? Because I just decided, I mean, renewing, uh, renewing your sub TV subscription, it's, uh, it's no use because you're not even watching it. And, and so that, that was on for... More than a week. I didn't renew it. Not because there was no money for it. But I just felt, I mean, why are we wasting this money when we're not even watching this thing? And the Lord said to me, you are keeping an angel redundant. How? And he told me, your DSTV subscription angel. Now, I, I told you how I, 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 cause, cause before we even did that, we went before the last, I went before the last, I said, Lord, I'm thinking of getting on on this thing. And then he gave me the go ahead. I told you, I've told you that before. So what happened? An angel was released. That is the job. That's the only work that angel does every day. That's the only work the angel does. He, he, he does nothing else where I'm concerned but to see to it that what is needed to renew that subscription. Now, that's why the Bible says we have come into the company of an innumerable, into, into an innumerable company of angels. So you wonder, innumerable, that means uncountable company. You can't count them. We are in the midst of all these angels. What are they doing? You think they are all carrying sword and walking with us, man? 
<laughs> they all have specific responsibilities in your life. And the earlier you realize that, the better for you. So, so imagine you have this angel that is responsible for, for, for your feeding. You have this angel that's responsible for your uh, electricity bill. You have this angel that's responsible for fueling your car. You have this angel that's responsible. But how do I get, how do I get to work in this whole thing? I'll tell you. This is not declare and receive. I'm teaching you the backside of this thing. You take the matter before the Lord, no matter how small you think it is. The Bible says you ask, you receive not because you ask not. Now, sometimes you, you find people who say, um, I don't receive anything. All I get is my salary. Nobody gives me anything. They say, nobody gives me anything. So, it's just my salary. So when you tell such people these things, they find it hard to accept. Like, because uh, all they can think about is their colleagues that are doing other deals, even in the office. And they know because of righteousness, they can do those things. So they're wondering, how else can I get money? How, how Just how else? I'm not saying go do anything extra that you are not supposed to do. I'm saying trusting the Lord with all your heart. Hmm. And then he says, in all your ways, acknowledge him. That's what we're dwelling on right now. In all your ways. So, okay, um, my bill payment way. Acknowledge him. I want to build a new house. Way. Acknowledge him. My children are starting a new school. Acknowledge him. Oh, um, I want to get married. Acknowledge him. Now, when he says, when you acknowledge him in all your ways, what's he going to do? He will direct your path in each of those ways. Your problem is that you haven't taken it to the Lord. You haven't. Hey, but I, but I, but I pray. No, it's not just Father. Give me this in Jesus' name. You, you go before the Lord like, like you will go to your father. Now, you don't tell your dad. Imagine you want to get married, for example. You don't go to your father and say, uh, Daddy, I've seen the girl I want to marry. Uh, so I'm going to marry. Thank you, sir. Bye-bye. Is that what you do? He will mention it to your father. He will look at you and say, ah, <laughs> my son has come of age. All right, we'll talk about this later. Like, okay. Now, when he says we'll talk about it later, what do you do? Do you go ahead and start carrying out your plans? You wait for that time of discussion. You begin to look out for when he will be free. If it's taking too long, you want to remind him. Why? Because you want to get his inputs in what you told him. That's what, what you're looking for, right? It's the same thing with the Lord. Lord, I want to get a new car. Thank you, Lord, because I know you can give it to me. Like I said, it doesn't matter where you are, whether you have the money to buy it or not. Wait for his inputs. Wait till you are certain God has moved in that direction, which is where you're concerned. And then one day your physical dad calls you and says, Hey, that thing you told me that day. Which one dad? Eh, you say you want to marry. Yes, okay, come, come, come. Let's talk about it. And then you guys sit down together, discuss it. And you tell him, oh, he asks you where she from, who is her parents, you know, what does he do or what does she do? And then you finish all that discussion. Then what do you wait for? I said, okay. Nice one. So what's your plan? Uh, well, well I'm, I'm just planning to go see the parents, you know, so I need your, uh, I need you in that direction. I said, okay, um, talk to so-so-and-so, go and talk to so-so-and-so, that's your uncle. Yeah, you know, go and tell him. And he, you know, over here, you know, we are very, we can like tradition. So he said, take a drink to that your uncle and give him this information. Uh, in our family, this is how it is done. Now, what's going on? He has set you on that course. Now, what does that mean? 
full approval. It means he is with you on this. But guess what? You are still going to be relaying, relaying everything you're doing with him. Now, you see how you relate with a physical person. That is exactly how you relate with the Lord where your need is concerned. So I say, ah, you mean everything? You see, that is why I say, I've said this before. <laughs> you think you're smart, but you're actually lazy. If you think it is wasting of time to seek the mind of God, then you are actually very lazy. That is the main thing you are supposed to be concerned about. I told you before, there is no one who walks by faith that can afford to be lazy. It's impossible. It's impossible. Because now you're waiting for the mind of God concerning this. You, you, you know you can't do anything until you hear God tells you, this is the direction to go. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, I'm tired this is up again. A lot to share. I, I hope you're getting blessed by these things. Praise God. Father, thank you. The revelation of God is coming into your spirit. And you are beginning to become so aware of what God is doing around you. And, and by this, the Spirit of God will begin to take you into places that you have never been before. But you are going to know and understand that He is right with you to bring to pass everything He has said. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.